Hey guys, quick disclaimer. I know you're here for an FPV bag unbagging video. I want to warn you though, this video may get a little long. If you want to skip through, I will not have a problem with that. What I do is I start with the outside of the bag in the beginning of the video, and then I jump into the tool section in the top of the, the tool section in the top of the bag and kind of some of the different pockets and different things I, I keep with me on a regular basis. And at the end is when I go through my props, my transmitter, and where I store my tiny loops. Um, so feel free to jump through the video. What's up guys? We're going to see what I carry with me every day on an FPV trip. Uh, kind of break down what I carry with me, the essentials, some of the little things for uh, the GoPro and the quads and the gear. So let's just jump right in. Right on the top here, we have two quads. These are kind of my, my gear that I carry every day and fly, uh, mainly just freestyle. Both quads are reverbs. I fly pretty much primarily the reverb. It has been a very solid, strong frame for me. I really haven't had too many issues. I don't think I've even broken any arms. The only thing I've broken off one of them was uh, the whole front of the quad. Other than that, it's been super solid, robust, and I really enjoy flying these quads. I fly the uh, Hyperlite 2405-2522 KV motors. I have not yet bent a bell. They've been very solid, uh, very good performers, and I really do like them a lot. I got some 3D printed parts on here for the GoPro. Um, let's set these aside, and let's get into the bag, okay? We'll start here on the top outside of the bag. Uh, there's a top pocket. This is the Low Pro bag, by the way. This is the Low Pro BPX3. Um, this is a very good bag. It has many pockets. It also carries a laptop, which I like the fact that I can do that if I need to, if I'm traveling or what, what have you. Uh, but in this front pocket here, this is where we carry um, the charger. I really put my ISDT T8 charger in here, the Joshua Bardwell uh, 10 port. 4S balance board. That's pretty much what I use every time I go flying because I only fly 4S. In this little pouch here we have just some miscellaneous uh, charging cables and what have you. It's just stuff that you might need in an emergency to get something charged that's not really your everyday setup. These two outside pockets, these are pretty interesting. Um, you can just toss some cables in here. That's usually what I do. In this little pouch, I have it attached to the tether here. This is an Emax motor box. And I just have some miscellaneous stuff. Let me just actually detach this here for you. Um, just some miscellaneous things like a USB adapter to connect to the phone, uh, to the SpeedyB app for an emergency, you know, and a camera adjustment uh, the, the, for, the, for the Fox Air cameras. You can adjust. All your settings, kind of a lipo checker, uh, an SD card holder. This is where I carry all my. Um, this is a 3D printed SD card holder. So I hold all my different SD cards in there. This is very handy to have, and it's small and tight and compact, and it fits in this case. So yeah, this case is just nothing but. Uh, a bunch of small things that you might use kind of quite often um, and things you don't want to lose. So I'll just keep in this Emacs box. And then on the Emacs box, I just clip it to this little lanyard inside this pocket and toss it in there. So when I take it out, it doesn't fall around. I can't lose it. It's always attached to the bag. Same pocket on the other side. I carry um, some extra rubber bands just stuffed in here for the batteries or anything you might need. Also some miscellaneous cables. These are the cables I don't use very often. Uh, they're just kind of in there for that one-off time. You might need it. And so this pocket really does not get used for me. It just sits there kind of holding some random things. These two outer pockets. This side I have uh, some extra GoPro mounts zip tie versions in case I just got to quickly zip tie a mount on that maybe I lost one broke one um, or anything's going on and you lend one these are a couple 3d printed GoPro mounts I kind of just toss in this pocket also there's a lanyard in here for my transmitter just a spare on the other side I just keep this chest mount for the GoPro uh, this is really really neat to have you can do some 
Uh, stick cam footage if you want. Uh, sometimes I'll put my head mount in here for an adventure, but that's what that pocket is used for. Let's get into the good stuff. The very top here, this is where I keep all my tools. So I keep um, a pair of snips, all the regular hex drivers, you know, one and a half, two, two and a half, and three millimeters. I do keep uh, some solder, mini zip ties, tweezers, a soldering iron. This is a little six dollar soldering iron. It plugs into your actually your XT uh, 60 connector, which is really handy and actually works really well. So I really do like this soldering iron. It's not bad for the field. One stick of hot glue in case you need to use a lighter and hot glue something, and a hobby knife, just a ra uh, razor blade. This pouch up here is where you would keep your laptop. However, my, my laptop is not in here at the moment, so that is empty. I keep like a, like a fishing tackle box and a Plano box. And this is where I keep all my spare parts. Underneath this, all the way in the bottom, I have these two little helping hands. And this is really why 3D printers are amazing. These helping hands screw right to the outside of this Plano box. So if you're in the field and you need to solder, and it's something kind of tricky to solder, um, you can just thread thread these two little helping hands into your box and do what you got to do and they are, they're attached to your parts box which I think is really neat and really convenient so I have used them once uh, once is enough for me to consider it a good good thing to do in this parts box I really just keep a bunch of uh, motors and bells uh, video SMA connections VTX's cameras ESC's multiple goggle modules arms in case I need them for the reverb, spare wire, spare screws, you name it, it is in here. Um, it's really convenient to have it all located in this big box. And I have it fit down in the bottom of here. I have that divider here sectioning that off from the rest of the bag. And the other pouches here, um, on this one here I kind of made like a little makeshift lid uh, with my arrangement with the, with the spare tabs that the Low Pro bag comes with. This pouch it's kind of a uh, everything pouch. I have another one of these Emacs cases. This has a lot of ND filters, glass ND filters, um, the clear GoPro screen protectors, bumpers, GoPro spare parts. It's all GoPro and ND related in that. Another ND filter pouch. This carries just multiple um, glass push-on ND filters for the GoPro. I keep my secondary GoPro in this pouch, just tossed in there. And then the rest of this stuff is all antennas. So we have a bunch of spare antennas, uh, GoPro mount for my gimbal, just anten every antenna you can think of is in here. And I just toss them in there. You never know when you need a certain antenna or you need to lend an antenna or somebody needs to borrow one, you have that in there. So I'm just gonna toss all that back in there for right this second so we can move on with the rest of this. This second little pouch that I created here is for my goggles. This is where I store my goggles and I store them vertically like this. I have not had any issues with this type of storage. I've been doing this for quite a while now and really haven't had any issue. I run one patch antenna and one omnidirectional on my goggles and when I'm ready to use them all I do is give them a little quarter turn and tighten them up and they're good to go. When I'm ready to store them I just give them another quarter turn to loosen them and run the antennas upward and that's literally how I store it and I haven't had any issues. So that's where my goggles sit. The next pouch over, this is going to be um, kind of a pouch for an FPV screen. This is where I keep an FPV screen if anybody wants to uh, hang on to this and watch. So I keep the battery, the screen and the antenna as you can see there. So that, that pouch is still, is, is still used quite often. I, I use this screen a lot. I really enjoy it. We'll just stick that back down in there. Another little thin pouch. This thin pouch, I keep a battery bank. A giant, I think it's like 22,000 milliamp hour battery bank. This can charge your phone like six times and keep going. It has two ports on it for USB. It does last a long time, however, it takes a long time to charge this. Uh, also in this pouch is two cables. One is USB-C for the GoPros and the other one is micro USB. So I keep those in that pouch with this charging device. 
pouch over is going to be GoPro chargers and GoPro batteries. All my spare GoPro batteries and chargers, a uh, little three port charger, a little two way GoPro charger. I keep them sitting on top here because uh, they just kind of fit perfect right on top of this. And this, what it's sitting on, is another pair of goggles or uh, a little handy screen that I allow other people to hold. It also records DVR. Um, so I'll toss some stuff out of here. And that's what it is. I got the cable to charge it, some screen wipes, and two antennas. And I kind of just toss them in there. They fit nice in there. This slides down into this pouch, as we can see. Slides down in there, and my GoPro batteries sit right on top. I have two pouches here. These two black pouches carry all of my props. I mainly only fly a couple different prop variations, two or three. Uh, mainly HQ 4.3s, FX S3 props. I also keep my nut driver in here for my uh, to change the props. The second bag is kind of similar. A couple different variations of prop. This one I have HQ HQ 5 by 4.5 by 3. Also the T motor 5143 props. I keep another nut driver. You never know when you're going to lose one. We'll set these to the side. Underneath here is going to be a 5S battery. This is a 1500 5S. I only use this for my goggles. This is a goggle battery and I use this cable. This cable is a Slaytech cable. Uh, Derek Slayton on uh, Instagram. You can find him at Slaytech. This is a, a 3 to 6S cable. It also reads out the current voltage of the battery that you're using. It has an on off switch so you can turn your goggles on and off, a plug for your fan, everything. I really love this cable. It works well. It's not loose in the goggles. It doesn't malfunction. It, it's, it's been working really well for me. So I really enjoy this cable and I enjoy the fact that the battery's not on my head and I can fly all day, sometimes three days on this same 1500 uh, 5S battery. It will last me in my goggles days. I really enjoy that. When you lift this up underneath here is where I keep my transmitter. I have a QX7. Let me try to adjust this camera a little better so you can see down in this bag. Just give me one second. Guys. Okay guys, this is a much better angle that way you can see what's going on inside this bag. So if I lift this pouch, this is where I keep uh, mainly just my tiny whoops and my transmitter. In this front pouch, I created like a little slot here for you to be able to set this plastic case down in the front of this here. This plastic case is a King Kong Tiny Whoop case with a built-in charger. I really enjoy this thing. It holds all my Tiny Whoop batteries. It has a charger built in, which is going to be 2 to 4S, so 2 to 4S input. Also micro USB input. It does both. I keep my little toothpick racer in here. Uh, when you shut this in the top notice that there's a prop, uh, place for all your spare props and parts. So that's what I keep underneath here next to my transmitter. I keep two tiny whoops kind of just tossed in here. They're tiny whoops. I mean they they take much harder beatings than what they see down in the bag here. You know what I mean? So I'll, I'll take those out. Next to the tiny whoops I have another uh, battery USB power supply just in case. Another battery checker and a small headphone for my goggles which I never used that just kind of lives in there in that little hole. My transmitter QX7 with crossfire and one antenna. This sits down in the bag here. Uh, I leave my antennas attached and tight. I never loosen them. I never take them off. Even with these three, these, this, these two antennas and this screen, the QX7 fits down in here nicely. And as you can see, uh, I do not need to do anything with my antennas. They're not being pushed on. They're not being bent astray. They're, they're, they're sitting in there protected fine. And this also, this bumper, this bumper here helps to protect the QX7 from really being harmed. It, it really protects uh, the gimbals. Also, I 
I do have some gimbal protectors on my transmitter, which I highly recommend. If you do not have 3D printed gimbal protectors, buy some. eBay, find a friend with a printer, print your own, use gimbal protectors. You will not regret it. Uh, there's also a little small pouch right here on this flap here. And in this little zipper pocket, this is where I keep my uh, spare goggle cable. This is the really, really cheap one, the $15 Skyward one. It's only for emergencies only. Everything else in this pouch up here in the top is all antennas, spare antennas, crossfire antennas, Immortal T antennas, transmitter Immortal T antennas. It's all Immortal T related spare antennas that I keep in this bag. You really never know when you might be traveling or you might be at a place that you're your, if you run Crossfire, your antenna might go bad, or you need that diamond antenna. So I keep the, the Crossfire diamond antenna for certain, certain areas, certain places to fly. And that's pretty much it. I mean, that sums up the bag. Aside from this other little extra tiny loop charger for those big events we go to, that's pretty much my bag. I, I, I really have been in, enjoying this current setup. It fits everything nicely. I can keep... A bunch of props. I mean, you, you've seen it. A bunch of GoPro accessories, multiple screens, all kinds of spare parts in this pouch. Bunch of tools. And it works. It just works. I carry a lot of stuff in this bag. For only being one backpack, I carry a lot of gear, I think. And it, it, it pays off for me. It, it's really... I mean, come on. I got three tiny whoops, two sets of goggles, a spare screen... I mean about 25 antennas, SMA video antennas, so it's been really a good setup. I really like this kind of modular pocket and slot deal. It really works. I got some of these ideas from Austin, Moosemon FPV. This was especially his idea. This idea here was all Moosemon FPV. Shout out to Moosemon. He gave me this box and showed me how to put it in the low pro. And since then, I've run with it. The only thing I added was this screw on for the helping hands. But besides that, this was all Austin. Thank you, Austin. Um, but that's it. around to the end of this video I really appreciate your support and uh, if, if you can I would appreciate if you gave it a like maybe a comment let me know what your setup is like let me know how I could have done my setup a little better I'm more than happy to hear your thoughts and if you like this video enough and you want to see more content like this please subscribe right here and if you want to see um, some epic flying videos that I made with this gear uh, check out these two videos below I would greatly appreciate that Thank you guys, and we'll see you on the next one.